And look, we admit it and we know it, right? It's hard. It is really hard because you're busy running your business and, and now you have to find new qualified talent, right? It's a completely different type of uh, colleague that you're going to need and when you're building out your cybersecurity practice. Yeah, it is really difficult. You know, we've been talking about the talent gap and, and how difficult it is to find talented uh, staff for years at IT Nation, and that was just around managed services. Now you add security to it, and gosh, it's just really wow. difficult. But a few partners have figured it out, right? We have a couple um, that are doing it really well. So I want to go now to Wes Spencer from Perch Security to talk about getting started in cybersecurity, including staffing and addressing that skills gap. So Wes, take it away. All right, Corey, thank you so much. My name is Wes Spencer, and I'm the Chief Information Security Officer at Perch Security. My job is to help all of our partners think through, strategize, and build better information security plans and services and products into their portfolio. And by the way, I also manage Perch's internal information security as well. One of the things that I get asked about a lot is, hey, Wes, I'm thinking for the first time of building or enhancing my cybersecurity services. We want to go beyond just managed IT, and we want to offer cybersecurity services as well. We have some customers of ours that are leading the charge on that, maybe a bank or healthcare or something like that. And we, we see this as a revenue opportunity, but we also see we need to do this to protect ourselves, protect our clients, because cybersecurity, as we all know, is getting more and more systemic as a threat and we need to address it. And so a lot of times partners will come wondering, where do I begin? How do I go down this journey of success? And I think one of the biggest challenges that exist in all of this is the staffing part. Where do I find the talent to run, the talent to build all of this? And I can quickly share a story of my own where I've been through that. I remember at a bank that I worked at, I was the, the, the CISO at a bank, and I hired my very first security analyst. We got him trained, got him up and running, turned out to be a great analyst. And within a year, he ended up leaving for New York Stock Exchange. <laughs> I remember thinking, how do you compete with that? You, you really don't. It's so difficult for an MSP to truly build that. I've got some statistics for you. 52% of SMBs agree that they lack the in-house skills necessary to properly deal with those security issues. So we have a problem in that we just don't have the staff and the, the people resources internally to do all this. Another stat for you, 57% of SMBs don't have specific cybersecurity experts in their organization. So even our clients don't have what's necessary. It's just, it's very difficult in the talent shortage and the cybersecurity skills gap to find and meet all of that. So how do we handle that? How do we address that? Well, with me today is Sean Brown of SnapTech IT. And I asked Sean some questions questions around this and really got his feedback because they've successfully gone through this themselves and they've, they've been able to find a pattern of success through a co-management solution that's worked very well for them. And I wanted you to hear more from Sean himself so you could understand how their path to success looked. So I'm joined by Sean Brown of SnapTech IT. Sean, tell us a little bit more about yourself and what SnapTech is all about. Well, good to be with you, Wes. Good to see you again. It's been a little while. Um, so I'm Sean Brown. I'm the president and COO of SnapTech IT. And so we're a managed service you know, provider. Uh, we've got offices here in the Atlanta area, uh, out in Phoenix and in San Francisco. And, you know, uh, we've been kind of in the security kind of business and, and, and doing managed IT work and then tacking on security on top of it for a number of years now. So Sean, one thing I want to ask, because I love asking this question, is what got you into managed cybersecurity in the first place? Uh, that was a great story. So we were working with a company, I guess it's been about six years uh, now, and um, they came to us and said, uh, hey, so whenever you're ready, just send on over your uh, SOC 2 report. And I was like, uh, we don't have a SOC 2 report, so uh, I guess we better I guess we better get busy. So we started about six years ago going through and doing a SOC 2 Type 2 audit. Uh, in fact, I was working on our uh, our audit just a few minutes ago before we jumped on this call. So we're right in the middle so of audit season again. 
<laughs> and that was six years ago. I mean, that's, that blows my mind because for the most part, I think SOC 2s and the audits and going through those processes is just now starting to happen, you know, maybe a year or two old. So you guys have been doing this for a, a really long time. Okay, so that that's valuable to us, Sean, because one of the things I would love for you to clue us in on and give us some more information about is you guys have been down this road before. You've gone down this journey of how do I get the, the personnel to run all this? Security people are different than IT people, right? Right? So I'm sure you guys looked at, do we build a SOC in-house? Uh, do we, do we not do it? What led you guys to the decisions that have caused you to be successful today in that strategy, Sean? Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. We, we started out, you know, um, trying to train our internal staff on security. Um, and then we started also trying to find great partners in the security space that were that could help us fill a gap that we had both on the technical side of some of the things that we were trying to solve, like, you know, SIM and SOC and threat hunting and threat intelligence. Uh, and that's when we discovered kind of perch security and, and started working with you guys, because not only did you guys bring incredible technology to us that helped us fill a bunch of gaps, uh, but you also brought the personnel and the SOC to us as well, which was a huge help. And so, we kind of view it as, uh, you know, we were kind of talking about this term earlier, we kind of view this as kind of a co-managed SOC environment where we've got some internal technical um, securities you know, team, um, but we don't have all of the knowledge and all of the skill sets that we need. And so we leverage your know, perch and, and the SOC from, from, from you guys to help us fill that gap and, and that partnership. Got it. So what I'm hearing from you, it's not that you couldn't do it, but just the resource building, finding the security personnel, retaining that talent, like those are things that it's just far better to outsource that piece, but still manage the security relationship for your clients. I mean, you guys have always been a risk first, strategy first, cybersecurity solution seller, but for you guys outsourcing the security operations and the talent made the most sense for you guys, right? Yeah, it really enables us to scale quickly, right? And so um, the target base that we look at are, you know, larger clients. Um, and so when you bring on a couple of larger clients, it's great to be able to have that scalability of just putting in a new device, knowing that I've got a great sock behind us, as opposed to trying to backfill and, and hire whenever we bring on, you know, additional clients like that. It really makes us scalable. That's a fantastic point that you bring up is scale needs to be considered in all of this as well. I mean, you might be able to meet the technical requirements for one client that needs a very niche right. set of cybersecurity solutions, but how do you scale that, right? So I'm, what I'm hearing from you is you guys have also built a solution that allows you to scale, not just with Perch, but it, your entire security services portfolio is completely scalable because you've built that intentionally in mind as well, right? Yeah, absolutely. There are you know, like, like we were talking earlier, we have an internal team um, and it's, you know, small in nature. As we continue to grow, we'll grow that team a little bit, but having, having you know, Perch as a large part of our SOC is, has been great in providing that scalability. Sean, thank you so much for joining us today. You guys heard from one of the best that I know of that is doing cybersecurity, uh, just top notch. Sean, thank you for joining us. Thank you for sharing your insight. This has been tremendously helpful. Yep, Wes, good to see you again. Thanks, everybody. All right, thanks. Wow, <laughs> that combo, I love those guys. Wes and Sean, they're like a power duo of cybersecurity expertise. Like. Oh, I just love them. And those guys at SnapTech, they've been such a staple of the IT Nation community for years now. They've just been amazing. Yeah, we met them over a decade ago at our IT Nation events and they keep coming back.